All right, guys, how's it going again? Uh, working on a 2001 or 2002 power stroke here. It is a 2000, 2000. Okay, so the problem we're having here is, is on this truck here, uh, had, they had it towed in here. And when he had it towed in here the first time, what the problem was is, is it had thrown the belt off there. So we was thinking, oh, it might be the water pump. You know, my water pump might be bad on there. Come to find out it wasn't the water pump. The problem with it was wind up being the uh, alternator. Uh, the alternator pulley over here on the passenger side, you're not gonna be able to see it, but this thing has two alternators on it. It's got one up on top like a normal power stroke would. And then it's got uh, on the very bottom there. Let me open this hood here. There we go. Okay. So most normal power strokes, it's right here where this alternator here is. That's where all of them are, but this has got two on there. So this means that this truck here was ordered this way with two alternators could have been an ambulance package or somebody just like i said a forestry truck or something like that they ordered it and they wanted to have a uh, dual alternator so the one alternator is there the other one's way down here on the very very bottom so i wound up fixing that i went ahead and ordered a brand new dipstick because this one here got the end got broke off of that one but the problem we're working on this one here today is is that's the reason it was towed in here is because of that and he wanted to get new leaf springs put on the back here so we're going to put the same amount of leaf springs that's what's on this truck here now guys as you can see here this side here it's broke it's gone uh it got broken off there or something happened with that don't really know but um this one right here it's already gone uh, i gotta take in uh, hopefully i can get them boats out there but i got brand new ones because usually them are always a pain in the ass to get back out and then back here but somebody has put these springs on here before uh, because there's usually these trucks do not have that many you're looking at one two three four five six seven eight nine ten a 10 leaf this is a 10 leaf with a four leaf four four spring overload so we're gonna head and we're, i got brand new springs for it brand new overloads u-boats i got everything for it somebody did put a brand new shocks on here and as you can see these springs are not the original springs for the truck and he said just put it back the way that it came so that's exactly what we're gonna do got good brakes on it all the way around i did on the front the truck does have spacers on it but also I did get these pieces here brand new because she was like I said, these boats here, they never ever come out. They usually get rusted in there and they're always a pain in the ass to get out. So that being said, like I said, I got these brand new here. I got brand new springs, brand new overloads, brand new U-boats. I got everything. So we're gonna try to hurry up and get this job here knocked out because he's gonna want this truck. Uh, I've had it for a pretty good while. As you can see here, it's got spacers on there. I done took the spacers off the front. He was always talking about on the front. It would always turn really really hard on him and uh that's why it was it was always rubbing right here as you it's starting to cut the tire a little bit but he had the, the somebody had the big spacers on there and you could see here the spacers on the side here he was always saying it was just throwing shit all over the truck he didn't want to put the big fender flares on there so we're gonna go ahead and like i said when we redo the rear axle we're gonna take all that shit out of there anyways just make it a whole lot easier so i'm gonna go ahead and get the truck jacked up in there i'm gonna put it on my jack stands and uh, get all my jack stands we'll be able to take and um, we'll be able to start pulling these springs out as well. It's kind of sitting up in the ass end just a little bit, but he says he pulls his camper and stuff with this. So we're gonna make sure that we get it. Um, we're gonna make sure that we take and get it, you know, uh, get to where he's still got some pretty good, um, to where he's got some pretty good, you know, pretty good stiff springs in the back. We don't want to ride the problem you know rides super hard but i think it's still gonna ride rough but one of the main things he's talking about it does ride rough in the rear is uh where the springs here go together there is so much rust in between these and with all that damn rust in there it's got it to where it's just riding on the overloads there's no giving it whatsoever so hopefully when we put the new overloads on it they're not going to be touching this right here and plus i mean in all honesty guys with a 10 with 10 leafs like that there it shouldn't be riding hard anyways, but it's there's so much rust in here. It's got all the springs out of damn whack So like I said, we're gonna take all that shit there off And we're gonna wind up putting the new I don't know how this this maybe blew a tire out or something But anyways, we'll fix that later. I'm just gonna This down here like that like I said, we'll take them boats there out We'll take the boats out back here get all the new stuff. I'll get the new springs laid out here And hopefully like I said, hopefully it won't be too bad of a job sometimes they're a pain in the ass. I'm hoping it won't be too bad because somebody's already changed the springs out on this thing before and um, make it to where it won't be so hard to get those boats out. I usually like to do this when I take, I usually like to take the beds off the trucks 
because it makes it a way easier to take and get in there to change the springs out and do what you got to do and you can just take the skid steer pick the back of the truck up and then you can just kind of set it back down on both springs we're going to do this one here a little bit different i'll just do it with the bed on there i've done it many times won't be so bad so i'm gonna quit rambling on here guys and uh we'll get started on getting this here i got a brand new gopro i'm hoping that i can get um get all that stuff there i've had it for a long time like i said my wife got it from for christmas i just ain't never had it. i've always just been familiar using this old one so that being said let me get my jack out and we'll get started here all right guys all right got the tires off there i got some jack stands up there in the front you can set them up there and uh the, like i said the jack's still going to mainly be holding it because what i'll do is i'll put this side in first i'll let this side here down I'll put this spring in there, jack it back up, get it bowed up, and then I'll go over to that side over there. I'll do it the same exact way. I'll cut the U-bolts. On these U-bolts right here, it just cut the inches off. Just get them up and out of your way because there ain't no sense. You're not going to reuse them. Anymore. gonna do that don't be too scared about it but that's what happens you can take them off if you want but i just cut them i cut them i just get them out of my way because i ain't reusing them anyways do the same thing on this side up here just cut it seriously i was gonna say i know it's a brand new battery Right here. Go ahead and cut them. Get them come out of your way. You ain't got to worry about them. Damn, there's a lot of rust on this thing. That way there, like I said, you can see all how they, how much they was, how much they gave, and uh, how much they were holding up. Um, and also, I went up taking the spacers off of these two. Uh, for a long hill, I had to get some brakes in the back because the brakes in the back there ain't much pad left on those. And uh, I called him. He said, it. he said, we'll worry about that next time. So. Anyways, let's go ahead and take these right here off. Get your plate off there. All these right here. You can see you cut about almost all the way through them, and then they'll just take and uh, they'll just break right off there. Other pieces, I don't know where the hell they went because there's, well, there's three there, so that's all of them. ones already gone. All these little brackets here, I'll beat the hell out of them and clean them all up, get the rust and stuff off of those. Get y'all set back here. So we can go ahead and take these here off. Just a bunch of rust in there right now, so reason they ain't coming right off. See if I can get this one. Here. Get this one off and get it out of the way. Just throw it. Throw it over there. Man, there's a lot of rust in between these right here. That right there was broke. Look right there, guys. That right there was completely broke. It wasn't even nothing holding it on there. Not but scrap. This little block here, we gotta have that block back. That right there, look, it's already broke too. Throw it up there, we'll get all that stuff there cleaned out. Now we're down here to the regular spring. And uh, now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and I'll get these boats here and them boats back here. I'll see if I can get those cut out or get those out. I'll show you here real quick because I'm probably not going to. But this boat here has to come out. There's a nut on that side there. And then back here, they usually always put these from the factory. I don't know why, but they put the boats in there this way. If you put it another way, you, could, you don't have to take this bracket here off. You could just undo it undo the nut slide the fucking thing out and you got it but since you did it there you gotta take it off down here so we'll take it off down here get this one out we'll get the one out down here in the front and once i get them two boats are out we'll drop the spring out and then once we drop the spring out of there we'll go ahead and set the new spring up in there but as soon as until well, then i'm gonna stop for a second and like i said when i get ready to start putting the new spring in i get the boats undone i'll bring it all back too because if not guys it's gonna be an hour or two video so i'll just show you exactly the main things what to do and we'll go from there I went ahead and got the boat here cut off because it wouldn't it did not come out here's this side here the other half is up in here i'm gonna have to cut it out a little bit more to get it up and out of there but got that one out the back one back here is almost out i'm gonna take and go ahead and uh try to get it try to get y'all set up here where it's just like this well my camera will fall, it won't fall down get it just like that right there i'll put this up here and it's still in there pretty good and tight i'm gonna ease the jack down a little bit See if I can get it to come on out there just a little bit. So oh, easy, not that much. There we go. See if that'll kind of help me get it. There we go, it's coming on out now. 
what I usually do is just take a pry bar, try to get this pry bar here, down in here just like this. This one here, it did come out. That front one up there, it wasn't coming out for nothing. That's why I had to cut it out. If you got enough room, you can just take your impact and just unscrew it right out of there. But my impact, it won't reach all the way up in there. It hits on the bed. Be stubborn, I guess. Let me let it on down a little more. See. Try not to fall in this fucking grease I got in the floor here. Oh, well, that's not really what I wanted to do. That's okay. Whole fucking truck should be over on me. Let's see if I can get it now. There we go. Now we got the boat there out. If you put anti-seize on these or grease, you never had to worry about this problem if you ever got to take the springs out again. So when I put this back together, I'm going to help the next guy out if he's ever got to do this 20, 30 years from now or whatever happens anyways. I'll go ahead and move this here out of the way. So if somebody else gets this truck one day and they got to get these springs and they see my video, you're welcome. a little bit more. Like I said guys, I got jack stands under but still at least leave some kind of jack pressure underneath there. here now. Hole oh, there's good. I don't have to see that. The block here, it looks good. Beat some of that rust off of there. But... Like I said, I gotta get this little piece here out in the out of this here. Hopefully I ain't got a cut on that no more to get that out there. Hopefully it'll come on out. But you can see how we took it all back air. Take this right here, put you some anti-seize in this too, just to keep from getting stuck in there later on down the road. And uh, what you wanna do is get your tape measure. Before you take the back piece off of it here, which I'm not going to, because I'm not gonna use it, the bushings are fucking wore out anyways. What you do is just from right here, to this center pin right here, make sure you get the right one to go the right way. So if not, your end's not gonna sit exactly straight. So I'll measure from this pin to that pin right there, then I know that's going towards the front, and the long port's going to the back. So, because more likely it's always the short end to the front, the long end to the back is another way to look at it as well. But let me get in the back of the service truck here, get the other spring out, put it together, and uh, I'll show you how it goes up inside there. All right, guys, 
I got the other spring here and I got the other piece in the back put on there, which is the same thing as that there. What I like to do is I like to lay both springs exactly how it would go in the truck. So now I got this in here just like this right here. That's the, that's the short end. That's the short end. This is the long end. This is the long end. I got the piece in the back here just like it. Like I told you guys, I usually put this both through the other way in case you got to take it out. But anymore, you can buy these right here and they're cheaper. So you can just put the bottom one in there. You ain't got no more anti-seize this one. Got that right there, anti-seize as well. The block here, I'll go ahead and we'll set the block back in here. Just like this right here. Make sure it goes in there nice and flat, just, just as well as that right there. I'm gonna go ahead and set the camera back here. Just so y'all can watch me here, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stick that spring right up in there. I already got the, I uh, got the long boat there. I got the short boat back here. I'll go ahead and take this here off. Always put the front one in first, not the back one. Always put the front in. Get this sitting just like that there. There's that there. This here's where you need another guy. Man, well, these heavy ass fucking springs. Make sure the back piece, guys, I know you can't see it, but just make sure it lays up in there. So if it don't lay up in there and you get in there, you won't be able to get it back across the other side. You'll take it back off. Just got to be slid back. Don't worry about that block. We'll, we'll get that block in a minute. up in here I can get the boat get it just about ready to get up in there or you want to slip on me again then slid up on me again I said put the front end first, but the back back here is it wants to go right in there, so just a little bit put him in there first, I guess. Since it wants to go right in there. Keep it from rolling on me anyways. Should I say moving? Moving and grooving. Is this one right here? Got it, got it moved back here now. Alright. Back one's sitting in there now. Yeah, now get picked up and pushed forward a little bit. Let's see. 
I just don't know why it's being such a, a pain in the ass this time. Usually it's never this never, it's usually never this hard to get in there. Close, pretty close. Guess I'm gonna pick up on it just a little bit to get it up in there where it has to go. Just a little bit. Easy. What it's trying to do is it's trying to push it forward on me. Is what it's trying to do. That's what I was going to say. As soon as I get this picked up, I knew it's exactly what it was gonna do. It was gonna fucking push forward on me. That way a little bit. Well, we got it in there now, so it shouldn't be no problem now. As far as, oh, because I put the block in there anyways. But now you can kind of move it back and forth now, just like this. Push on the spring a little bit, and it should push on the spring a little bit now, and it go right in there. Let's see here, the block gonna fit? Nope. Got to let down just a little bit more to get the block in there. block in here. Not sometimes you gotta take him. There it goes. Now we can jack it up. Okay. Alright guys. So now we got the front pin in there. Go ahead and put the nut on there. Just a little bit. I went in there just a little bit too far. Just 
enough to where you can get this up inside of here. We got that one on there. Got the two back ones in there. It's got to put the nut on here. Okay. Some we'll anti seize on there. All right, guys. Well, so now we got. I got it up there, I still gotta get that tight, but don't ever tighten nothing up until you got it all the way completely done. All them bolts back there, they're still loose, but like I said, don't tighten nothing up until you have everything sitting on here. That way, if you gotta move anything or push anything one way or the other, yeah, you won't have no problems. I'm gonna get the overload real quick. I'll tell you what, let me... This here, guys, is another good thing to do, even though the springs are, even though the springs are exactly the same, you always just want to make sure that your tire, you go to put it up on there, your tire is still going to be exactly centered where it needs to be at. Just before you get everything bolted up and you're like, oh shit, something ain't right. This block here is a little bit different. Well, the springs from the other side there, they were kind of like in, and this one's kind of like out. So it definitely needs to go, it'll fit on that, no problem. But the line up pin on the top there, the other one, the other one was a little bit different. The other one here, it, it had holes in it. We'll beat that off or that ain't nothing there. It's kind of like somebody, like that should have come, that should have all came up and out of there in one shot. I might have to wind up cutting, I might have to wind up cutting this here off and, and taking a torch and wallering that out and make it to where this, this right here sits down on top of that as well. It's probably what we're going to have to wind up doing. See on the other one, on the overloads that, that they had right here, see, they got a boat in those and they got a little pin. At the bottom, that pin is supposed to sit inside that right there. So what I might have to wind up doing is taking and cutting this here off, because that could just be a pin. See, the springs could have rusted and pulled it in two, and that could just be that could just that might just beat out of there. Let me try that real quick. That, like I said, that might just beat, beat it, beat it, beat itself out of there. I think it's just all could be just all froze up and corroded in there. So let me go ahead and cut this here off or try to beat it. I think I just got to beat it out. Let me beat this here out, and then we'll get it stuck on top of there, and that way there we can bolt everything down. Okay, guys. Uh, went ahead and I got these put on there. Uh, this inside here, the, the pin for that in there was broke off in there, so I had to beat that pin out of that there. And then once I was able to beat that pin out, uh, once I was able to beat the pin out of here, I was able to sit that on top of there, sit the other one down on top of that one as well. I got the bracket piece here on the top. I got it good, and then I got uh, brand new U-bolts here too. We'll go ahead and stick these on our. We're not going to get. We're going to get these snugged up. But we're not going to get them super tight because we want a little bit of play on the other side. So when we go to put it together, it'll be a whole lot easier than it was whenever I went to put these back on there. that one on there like, like I was saying guys I know some people they like to reuse their u-boats and that kind of shit there but in all honesty you're better off just to just buy new just buy new you ain't got to worry about it because these are right here once you stretch them you're supposed to buy new ones anyways 
once they get because they, they do stretch and once they stretch you gotta put new get your new ones on there let me get that one in there get a washer get a washer tight and on these right here it lets you know all the u-boat specs what's what the tightness of them needs, needs to be and all that kind of stuff there we go i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna, I'm gonna get them snugged up tighter than what they are right now just to be on the safe side but you can kind of see here guys about what it what this is about what you're going to have as far as when you get it all done um and like I said, you can see we got a pretty good gap here and a pretty good gap there. I ain't got a whole lot of pressure on it right now. So we'll know about once we get it jacked up, we'll know then about where about where it's going to fall at. But let me get these here tightened up real good. And then once I get these here tight, um, once I get these here tight, we can uh, then we'll crank them down. We'll get them torqued down to the spec because here they are over here. Here's the foot pounds of them. What all they need to be and all that kind of stuff would be right there. So we'll get the torque ratchet out and we'll torque every bit of these here down. So uh, let's go over here and get started on the other side now. I'll just tighten these up here. I'll snug these up. I won't video that. I'll just snug these up. I'll snug this boat up here up. I'll snug both of them boats back there up. And then this side here should be done. And we'll go on the other side and we'll repeat the process on the other side. All right, guys. We'll go ahead and start cutting this one here out now. Get it cut. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I got this other side here out now. This side here amazingly came out really good. I wish I'd just done this side first. Shit. But anyways, um, they got this one here. This boat here, it came right out no problem. I didn't have an ounce of problem with that there. It had a little bit of grease on there, so um, I don't know. Maybe when somebody put this in there, they put a little grease on there. I don't know. The back one there, same thing on the back one. It came right out. Not a minute's problem. Um, but yeah, I didn't got this block here. I then took the other spring out. It's laying back here. And... Uh, Look at the, look at how wavy that is, guys. From how bad that rust got in between those springs. So, uh, the other one over there, it's the same exact way. We'll, uh, we'll go ahead. This bushing on the front here, it's wore slick out, as well as the other ones are. Uh, but like I said, the other springs up here. I'm gonna probably just go ahead and put this one together right here, so I ain't gotta bend over. Cause damn it, I tear it now. When I picked the other one, second one, damn it, made my back hurt like hell. Um, but I'll go ahead and I'll get this other one here set up inside this one right here as well got this little piece here same thing like i said make sure it goes on the back one i know the back one is right there is where it's at put this box here sit that box up there same thing get some anti-seize on this one as well You can almost look at it and tell that that's the front and that's the back and also uh usually on the usually on the front one here the uh usually the front hole is way bigger anyways and then the back hole it's nowhere near it's nowhere near the size of the the front one there we'll go ahead and put that in there just like that i'll go ahead and i'm gonna, I'm gonna put it in this one here too and like i said the only thing i'm doing is i'm just helping the guy later on down the road when somebody else has to probably do this job, if they do, they'll fucking, whoever does it and they see my video, like I said, they'll thank me for doing this. this one here, I'm going to go ahead and throw this thing down here on the ground. That one up there. That one down there. I'm hoping, guys, I'm hoping everything goes good with it getting this supposed to be getting another shop hopefully like i said mainly dad and my brother mainly going to be their shop but i'm gonna buy in with them on it um just so i can i, I want to get everything out of the shop here at the house because uh, like i said i've just uh pretty much just I, i've outgrown this shop here at the house it just it anymore guys it just ain't it's not big enough for me uh at all 
as far as this shop here and uh i just got to get something bigger more somewhere where i can get more stuff broke down because i don't know what it is about my service truck i just like my service truck here i like to be in the shop every single night every night i back it in here and this is exactly where it sits at if i get to get that lean over and closed in i could just put the damn i could just put my service truck over and have the whole shop open but only problem is a lot of my projects that i got they're on hold because i just can't I, like i said this everything's got to be tied up in this one little spot here and i've just i've outgrown this shop here within the with being here by myself it just I, i've just like i said i've outgrown it so with that being said uh, i'll quit rambling about that there i get off i just get off subject sometimes this is the spring here like i said the bigger holes here and the smaller holes back here and like i said the bigger holes always going to be in the front night not all the time but usually if you can look at the difference here this is the small end this is the long end the long end goes towards the back that fucking spring's heavy i know what there thing i hurt my damn back a minute ago when i was trying to pick that damn thing up and put it up in there and let me sit y'all right up in here and hopefully like i said y'all can see what's going on here and i'll go ahead and uh pick this thing up and see if i can get it on the inside there I could have swore earlier when I picked these fucking things up and I put them in this truck, on my service truck, I moved them around. I could have swore they wasn't this fucking heavy. Maybe I'm fucking wrong, I guess. There we go. Phew. The exhaust pipe's on the way on this side, so that's one thing that's gonna make a little bit more difficult. We'll set that right there just like that. I'll slide them on down here. Get this one up in the somehow or another Whew, let it sit there for a second this is like i said day like a day hell i need another guy man this thing's heavy man this thing's it's awkward as hell today there we go somebody's got a hell of a bracket on the screen here the bracket come off there Somebody wind up putting the damn thing not exactly in there how it's supposed to go. So that's another thing that's making it a pain in the ass. There's a damn bracket. The back back here, it almost go, it go up in there. I mean, as far as getting the back, getting the boat in the back, a little bit more, I might be able to get that in there. It's hitting on that fucking spring again. Let's see what that does. Maybe I can get it. Where we at right there? I don't know. Let's see what we got here. Well, it just slid out on me again. Slid back on me again. It's catching on that little piece right there. that anyways but let's see if I can get it up there that's close but it ain't, ain't close enough for where it needs to be at in there a little bit more here we go I think I might get it that time nope too much here Spring. Don't slide on me. Looks like that might be close enough. Get you started. There we go. Got you started now. You ain't going nowhere. The front here. The front one's probably going to be. Remember how the front was last time, guys? It was a pain in the ass to get the front in there because it kept sliding on me. I'm sure this one's going to do the same exact thing as that one did. It's gonna try to slide on me. Hopefully not, but you know, there it goes. See, that's what I thought. It's gonna try to slide on me. I think I can kind of hold this. I think I can kind of hold this back. Hold it back, cause it ain't. 
that it's what the hell up on that thing here. I might be able to hold it back in and pick it up at the same, same damn time, I don't know. So it's fucking heavy. And slid down on that bracket there. Pick it up a pretty good piece and hold it back. Then we should have it. There we go. Get it over there like that. Get that right there like that. Phew. There we go, guys. We got it right time. Damn. Okay, now we can set you in there. Push you over here. Boom, there you go. Come back here. Boom, there you go. Got their asses in there now, buddy. Got the truck on up here. All you gotta do is just let it get to where it touches that. All it's got to do is be able to touch that. Once it touches that there, guys, you, you got enough pressure on there to where when it goes up through here, it'll fall right in this spot. See here? See how easy it is to move now? That's what I was saying. Don't never tighten that side up until you get this side here done. Until you get this side in the pin. How close are we? Oh, did we move? There it goes. That's his ass. Now you can see we got this in here where it needs to go at. This side here went in there a hell of a lot easier than the other side did. So let's see here. Go ahead and put the nut on this one. Get it in there. Just like that. Uh, let's see here. Let's see if I got a washer here. Got that snugged up. Uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, knock this boat here out like I did on the other one. Knock this pin here out. Like I said, it's just a pin. This one just froze up. It looks like it's made into it, but it's not. Uh, some of them, I have seen some of these where it is made like that, and I've seen some, and I've seen some that uh, the pin will come out, and I've seen some of them that the pin won't come out. This one right here is just all rusted up and around there, and you can't just all rusted up and around there. I'll take and I'll, uh, I'll get the hammer, I'll beat this out, let me get this beat out, and we'll go ahead and get the overload put on this side, and then we'll go ahead and we'll get the U-boats on this right here, and we'll torque all the U-boats down to the spec, and then put the tires on there, and this should be, uh, this job here should be done, guys. Sorry, guys, I was, my damn battery died on me when I was trying to get that there up in there, but, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead now, I'm just trying to get these here. All torqued down really good. I'll just use this one here for just a second to get them torqued down. But like I said, don't forget the um, just don't forget the ones that are back here in the back. That's what I'm getting ready to tighten up now, so I don't forget them. And then I ain't got to worry about them. I'll go ahead and jack it up just a little bit more. That way it's done and over with. impact here and you guys there like I said we're about to get this job here hopefully wrapped up and get done get this here squared away Second. 
Sorry, guys, you probably can't see me over there. I didn't realize I was out of view. That one tight. Hopefully, I can get this one tight. I'll turn my brakes, turn around. Yeah, I gotta get my ratchet on this one too. Oh. Hello? Sorry about that, guys. This is my brother calling. Make sure he didn't need nothing so it wouldn't work down, I guess. So that's always a good thing. This one here, you always got to get it with. The, it always has to be done with a wrench. It's got a lot of problems anyway, so it's not like it can come off of it. Hopefully it don't work. Alright. Tell you what guys, I might have to uh, I might have to cut that boat off on this side over here. That thing's super, super close right there, like that boat's maybe just a little bit too long. I might have to wind up cutting that off. It's kind of making it to where it don't want to, uh, it don't want to flex. Shouldn't be too big a deal though. We cut that. Shouldn't be too bad to cut that there off. Oh. Okay. Go ahead and put the impact on this one. This one here tight. Up underneath here. Okie dokie. This one on up. Okay. Oh, almost forgot. I need that big wrench. Because it seems bigger. That was snug up. The good thing about them areas is they come with, they come with blue Loctite, so that works out pretty good. But instead of you guys sitting here watching me, I'm gonna go pick up my torque ratchet. I'm gonna torque these here off, but these back here, guys, this is what I'm talking about. See how that boat there is so close? I'm gonna cut. I don't, I'm gonna cut that off flush. I don't like that. I don't like how it's that close to that. I just don't like how it's that close to that spring. Not saying that it would hit it, but I'm just kind of worried about it, uh, about it hitting. And that's another reason, kind of guys, why I always turn this around the other way. But I was able to get off there, and I just wanted to kind of put it back the way that it came. So, um, <clears throat> with that being said, I'll, uh, you know, in all honesty, guys, I'm wrong. I did. This boat was supposed to go in the other way instead of this way. So as long as I cut this off flush right here, it'll be fine. It won't cause no problems. It'll be, it'll be just fine. 
So I'll just I'll I'll smooth that off here real quick. I'll get these torqued down, and let me get these torqued down, and I'll get the tires back on there, and we can set this thing back down on the ground. That could be this job be done. I did put the brand new lug nut guys on the other side. Like I said, the other side had brand, it was missing one lug nut. Well, it really wasn't missing. It's just the lug nut that was on there was something different from where it had them, them spacers on there. I took the spacers off and I put them in the floorboard because like I said, they ain't gonna do no good for me. Because like I said, they're eight on seven and a, eight on seven, eight. Eight one seventy or something like that. I think they are metric. Alrighty guys, I already got the jack stands out. It's definitely sitting up in the back just a little bit. I probably, in all honesty, the block on the bottom, I probably could have took the block on the bottom off and it would have been just fine, but <clears throat> because in all honesty, the block on the bottom is supposed to be up on the top, I do believe. Um, but I put it all back together the way that you know that it was uh, the way that it was put on there. Because there's no way that bump stop's ever going to get that that far down there. But that's just the way it was, that's the way it was. That's the way I put it together. You usually got a little block, and then you got that. But I don't know why the bump stops that far down there. But other than that, there. The overloads ain't touching. I gotta put some air in this tire here. It is sitting, it is sitting down in the front just a little bit now, but not not very much. But when you put your load on there, that's what you want. You if you're gonna be towing like he is with this trucker here, what you want is you want the back of it to be up just a little bit. So when he hooks up to his trailer, it squats it down enough and makes the truck completely level as you're driving down the road. I see some of these people with the damn the uh, and the springs in the back it'll it'll be when you're driving down the road to hell it's it's kind of like down the road to ass ends all hanging down next to here and it makes it to where your steering ain't that good the level of the truck is when the, the more level the truck is the better off that it is so with that being said and when he goes to tow some of this now he will have no problems whatsoever as far as towing and then the truck like i said it's got a little bit of give in it now as he's driving on the road, it's going to give a little bit for him. It ain't going to be stiffer and a fucking board like it was before whenever he was on there. But um, as you can see, like I said, now we got the now we got the spacers off of there. As you can see now, the tires are tucked up in there exactly how they're supposed to be. I got to put some air in this tire, and I got to put some air on the other tire over there. But overall, like I said, guys, the truck turned out really good. Um, I don't know if the picture justifies and shows that it is sitting a whole lot more higher in the back not a whole lot but it is sitting a little bit higher in the back than it is in the front which the front springs he might need to go ahead and think about eventually putting new springs on the front a lot of people they put them they put like a helper spring in the front kind of bring it up a little bit we might decide to do that for him i don't know we'll just have to see what he exactly what he wants to do as far as that there but the truck like i said it did turn out really good i gotta air up this back tire here uh and i gotta torque down the lug nuts as well but everything else has been torqued down and uh like i said another job well done i'll get all this fucking scrap picked up throw in the scrap bin and uh call the guy drive down the road and call the guy and tell him hey you got your truck done it's ready to go like i said thanks again for watching guys i appreciate all the people that watch my videos and they like my stuff if you could like i said just keep doing that there it helps me out and uh like i said let's everybody know that you know let's kind of lets me know that people like seeing what i'm doing so thanks again guys